Hello, I understand all of you are here to gain some information or gather whatever information you can about our allied health programs. And I'm so happy to be able to provide some information for you today. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm Dr. Long. I'm not a medical doctor. Uh, I hold a degree in post-secondary education and uh, I have taught at uh, two different schools for 14 years. I've worked in two different hospitals for 20 years and uh, I'm 39 years old. Uh, okay, most of that's true. But uh, anyways, I'm, I'm here to, to get a little information, maybe get some information from you. Let's start off with this. How about if everyone, if you know something about some allied health programs, can I have you, sh let's show of hands. Can you show your hands? Oh good, good, looks like most of you. Well, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. And as professors, we like to mess with you a little bit too, because you know I can't see you. <laughs> so here we are, let's get into the allied health programs. First of all, let me tell you, there's, you're not gonna receive pats on the back and attaboys and all kinds of accolades Go if you're going into this field. Understand this, this is the opportunity for you to do something to help to improve the lives of your fellow human beings. Okay, we look at it as a vocation. If you're going into some job where you're just there for the paycheck, I wish you'd go into business or something else because this is a vocation, this is a calling to help your fellow human beings. So that's the way we look at it. Uh, all instructors, the faculty teaching in these professions uh, understand the role and everything we do to help improve the lives of fellow human beings. Now when people think of healthcare, they generally think of doctors and nurses, two very fine professions. But people are not aware of all the other professions that are out there. Uh, allied health encompasses many, many other professions. Let me throw some out there at you and see if you know what they do. How about a cytotechnologist? A histologist? Maybe a dosimetrist? Uh, dosimetrist? Calculations? Radiation therapy? Okay, that's, there's the name a few. A surgical technologist. How about that? At least that gives you a hint. You know it's something to do with surgery. So there's many, many other professions out there and such as athletic trainer, respiratory therapist, perfusionist, uh, paramedics, it goes on and on, the list goes on and on for the types of uh, professions that are out there for allied health. Actually, there are approximately 45 allied health professions across the country that makes up more than 60% of the healthcare workforce in the United States. So here we are at LCC, what types of allied health programs do we have here? Let me start off with saying LCC, great college, great great professors. Uh, the one thing about the quality of the school is it draws those types of people that really want to teach the students and really help them in their profession of choice. All programs here are fully accredited. The institutions are accredited. All our allied health programs are programmatically accredited. Very important for meeting quality standards and what we say we deliver to the students is what we deliver and we help you to become successful in your cho chosen field. Some of the professions, dental hygiene, diagnostic medical sonography or ultrasound, therapeutic massage, radiologic technology, x-ray, and then, then of course surgical technology. So all of the faculty, everyone here, we, we are here to help. Is everyone going to be successful? No. Uh, sad to say no. And maybe, may, maybe some people make a wrong choice. But if you really have a desire to go into some healthcare field, allied health is an excellent choice. We do all kinds of different strategies. We have some great facilities here at LCC. The lab components we have, we work with the students, and some students it takes a little bit longer for them to get it than other students. But we're willing to go forward and do what it takes if we have to pound that information into the students. Us as faculty, we will do our jobs to make sure that you learn as best you can the material you need before you get out in that clinical setting in the real world. So we'll use all the instruments we have. So what, what else are we looking for as faculty when students coming in? It, the onus is on the student. We will provide you with the information you need. We will do the three learning domains, cognitive, psychomotor, and effective learning domains. Now cognitive, we're gonna give you the information you need so it gets into your brain. Once it gets into your brain, you've gotta show us you can apply it. Okay, that's the psychomotor learning domain. And then the other one is the effective domain. The effective domain are behavioral skills. And I will tell you, I spend more time uh, teaching in the effective domain than I ever have. I don't know why that is other than the fact that employers are looking for people with the strong characteristics in the effective learning domain. You, it used to be employers would say, you know, if you can do the job, we want you here. Nowadays, they want to know, well, do they show up on time? Are they good team players? Do they act professional? You know, are they going to show a good work ethic? You know, they want to know the total mesh, how you're going to fit in, how everything is going to work together, and if you're going to be a good, highly valued employee. So you have to get the cognitive, 
into your brain, the application, and also the behavioral skills. You need all those to become a valued healthcare employee. Where did allied health programs come from? I mentioned doctors and nurses, that's what everyone thinks of. But really after World War II, there was a boom. Uh, new scientific knowledge, there was new medical diagnostic treatment procedures, all kinds of things uh, came on the forefront. So doctors and nurses couldn't do it all, so we have these more specialized programs that came into being with a big clinical focus. Now I used to say, when are we going to meet the need of all allied health workers? When are we going to have people trained? You're always going to have a job if you go into healthcare. And that's always been true. Yes, we've had some difficulty in, with the economy of late, and maybe things haven't been quite as good. But allied health is a great area to go into. I used to show a slide in a PowerPoint presentation that said, when will we meet the need? And that will be when pigs fly. Not quite true. Uh, it's a little more difficult. But with the aging population, with people uh, beginning to retire more, with the economy coming back, they're saying the future projections for employment are going to be great. The only other thing is they, they're saying we may not have enough programs to train all these people. So you may see even more programs come up. So quality school, quality programs, quality professors. Everything is here, everything is here for you. I know where you are right now, you're maybe deciding what program you want to go into. Talk to your advisors and talk with the advisors and counselors there. We have some wonderful people working there that will assist you in every way they possibly can. So I wish you all the best. I thank you for your time. I hope you find what fits for you in your chosen allied health career choice. And I hope it's a wonderful experience for you and wish you the best in future successes in all your endeavors. I want to leave you with one, one other point. And in all the allied health uh, programs and people that work in these professions, what's our main focus? The creed of one of our allied health programs is Agar Primo. Didn't know you were going to get a little Latin today, but Agar Primo, Agar is the patient Primo number one. Doesn't that make all the sense in the world? Everything we do, the patient must always come first. I thank you for your time and wish you all the best.